Hello Pisces, Pisces, let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. The first oracle card that is coming up for you, Pisces, the divine wants you to know that your efforts are going to be paying off. So for you, this is not the time to give up. This is the time to get down and to keep going all the way to the finish line. There's a sense of your guides, your ancestors really cheering you on, wanting to inspire you to keep going. There are some blessings that are waiting for you. So Pisces, even if you're going through challenges, even if you're not feeling up to it, your guides and your ancestors are not are like, baby, this is not the time to give up. This is not the time to put the weight down, carry on. Because you're going to be surprised at the gains that you are going to be receiving. Pisces, the divine also wants you to take some time to consider some of the decisions that you've made in the past. Pisces, the divine is saying by looking at the past, the future starts making sense. By looking at the past, you see maybe some past errors, some mistakes that you've made. Maybe you've given people too many chances. For some of you, maybe you have allowed toxic people into your life that have brought nothing but destruction, that have brought nothing but chaos. And as you're going forward, remember the guides, your divine angels have said to you that your efforts are going to be paying off. So before your efforts pays off, before you get your blessings, it is time for you to look at the past. It is time for you to look at the people around you. And it is time for you to see who you need to let go of because you're entering a new beginning, a new chapter where you're going to be seeing that there's a lot of peace. There's a lot of joy that is coming towards you. The next card that we have, the divine is saying to you that it is going to be important for you to take care of your mental health. And this is why the divine is saying, question your life choices. And like I already said to you, look at the people who are in your life. And ask, do I want the same people to be in my future? And if the answer is no, then it is time for you to start detoxing. It is time for you to start letting go so that you can enter this peaceful new chapter with your mental health intact. The divine is saying to you, take some time out to rejuvenate, to rest. Take some time out to do the things that you love, to listen to music maybe podcasts, things that lift up your vibration. Take some time as the weekend is going to be coming up soon to allow yourself some mental space to just be in the moment. Because for some of you, like I said, you've been carrying maybe some heavy loads. You've been showing up. You've been going through it. You haven't been giving up. And the divine is saying to you, make sure that you take care of your mental health. Because by taking care of your mental health, you're going to be able to keep on going until you receive the blessings that we spoke about. Pisces, let's get some tarot cards to further clarify the messages that are on the table. The first tarot card that you're receiving is the four of pentacles, seven of wands, and the Three of Swords. I told you that for some of you, you have been going through it. And this is why the divine is saying, question your life choices and ask yourself, do I want to keep on bringing this energy into my future? Do I want to keep on taking toxic people in to the new beginnings that are here? The energies of the Seven of Wands is indicating that as you are about to receive your blessings, as you are vibing, as you are climbing the ladder, as your vibration and your energy is getting higher and higher, people who bring drama into your life are going to notice and they're going to do everything in their power to pop your bubble so that you don't get to the finish line, so that you start dealing with some other negative energies, entities, and this is going to get in the way of your blessings. So the divine is saying, you are almost there. This is not the time for you to give up. Put yourself in this divine protective bubble and focus on finishing the race. Focus on getting to the end line. Because if you don't, there are going to be some people that are here that are going to be able to penetrate and to pop your bubble and to bring you down 
and to bring toxic situations, heartaches, backstabbing, and more. So this is why the divine is saying it is important for you as you're putting yourself in this protective bubble to question your life choices and to see the people who bring drama and chaos into your life who disturb your mental health. And this is why the divine is saying protect yourself. This is the time for you not to be dealing with people who break your heart, but rather this is the time for you to mend your heart, to rejuvenate and recuperate and to be in the mental space of feeling good about yourself and the new chapters that you're entering into. Now, remember, the divine said to you that your efforts are going to be paying off and you receive the energies of the four of pentacles clarifying that energy. So what is going to be paying off? Well, there is going to be some money that is going to be coming in. There's going to be resources that are going to be coming in. There's just a payoff connected to the energies of the pentacles. The pentacles are connected to your money, your wealth, your resources. They are connected to your health. So there is just something that is going to be coming in that is going to be uplifting your spirits and bringing the energy of stability into your life. And so Pisces, these are the energies that you're currently working with at the moment. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up. And for those of you who are doing the quantum leap ritual, let's go over and do some magic. Let's go and quantum leap from one reality in to another reality. Let's go over there now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023, and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition, you could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the Eight of Wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the Magician card, which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So, are you ready to take part in this ritual? So, bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So, on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery so let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude divine thank you so much for everything that i already have in my life thank you for all the blessings that i have divine i am the luckiest person alive 
going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline in breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this and take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline and as you are pouring the water into the next cup into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory. So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving a shake.